Does your focuser suck? Mine did. So the Mead SN8 telescopes are known for not having the greatest focusers in the world. Uh, when I first got this, that was the biggest problem I was having was getting a good focus and maintaining a good focus. It was just really hard. The focuser just barely touch it and it would go out of focus. It was just really coarse, so it was hard to nail it. So I did find this focuser on Amazon. It was a Crayford dual speed focuser. It has a 10 to 1 focus knob on it. Didn't have any reviews on it, but I took a chance. It was 99 bucks. That fits within my budget. So today we're going to talk about what I did to put it on. So I'll throw in some other pictures as we go along that I have of what happened, but you can see the, the focuser has kind of a flat bottom. I had to I actually fabricated this curved base for it out of some plastic that I had in my shed. I cut a couple of squares out with my bandsaw. And then I proceeded to put them in the oven for 20 minutes at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Made them pliable, then I taped them to the outside of the optical tube here to give them the correct curvature to fit on the telescope and to create a base for the focuser. Then I took the two pieces of plastic that I had formed and then I took a bunch of epoxy glue and mixed it up, put it on, clamped them together, clamped the crap out of them, let them sit overnight so they stuck together pretty good. Then I took my drill press with the sliding vise and put this in the sliding vise. I took an end mill, put it in my drill press, and I used that to create a flat area for the focuser to sit on. Now before you can work on the actual focuser, you have to take the telescope completely apart. So I had to take the front correcting plate off and the, the mirror assembly off the back because you don't want anything to happen to those while you're drilling into the optical tube. I had to drill a little bit bigger hole for this, this focuser because my old focuser was an inch and a quarter. This one actually has a two inch two inch focuser on it. It does have an inch and a quarter adapter, but I use a two inch with my camera. because I started out using the inch and a quarter with the old focuser. And that's another problem I had with, with some vignetting. The two inch seems to get away from that, uh, probably because I have the APS-C sensor too. Anyway, I had to cut a bigger hole for the focuser. So I took a hole saw a two inch hole saw, a little bit bigger than two inch, and then I took a smaller hole saw that fit almost inside the old hole. I put the smaller hole saw inside the bigger hole saw and put some tape around it 
so it fit just perfectly in the hole because I didn't want it jumping around while I was trying to drill the hole. I got some help for this part, somebody to hold the, the tube still while I was drilling into it and I very carefully took my drill and drilled a bigger hole through the telescope. Now before I took the, the old focuser off, I put my laser collimator on it and shot the laser through the tube and put a piece of tape on the opposite side and put a mark right where the laser hit so I'd know where to line the new focuser up. When I, and as I was putting the new focuser on, as I was tightening up the screws, I had the laser collimator in, in this focuser at that point and made sure that the laser was hitting the opposite side in exactly the same spot as I tightened it up. And once I got it tight, I made sure that the laser was hitting exactly the same spot on the opposite side of the tube. And I racked the focuser in and out to make sure that the laser didn't move at all. And it stayed right in the right spot. So that's as good an idea as I could come up with to make sure that when I put the secondary mirror back on, everything was lined up the way it should be. So when I put it all back together and I put the laser collimator in and everything collimated good. I could achieve focus with the eyepiece and with the and with the camera. So I think it's something that anybody could do if they put their mind to it. Yes, it's not a six hundred dollar feather touch or anything like that, but it's good enough for me. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. Like, share and subscribe if you like this. If it helped you at all, let me know and let me know what you think. Thanks. Talk to you again. Clouds suck.